the channel guys. Uh, welcome to Garris M140, our customer. Uh, this car started off as a stock vehicle, uh, which quickly went to stage two, um, and then on to stage two plus with a load of extras, including the M Performance rear differential, power flex rear subframe bushes, diff bushes, and a few other bushes as well. Um, we did ultra racing uh, bracing kit for it. Uh, it also had the Eventuri carbon fiber induction kit. Um, uh, FTP charge pipes, a water meth injection, um, BC racing coilovers, M4 uh, front handling pack, H&R anti-roll bar, adjustable anti-roll bars front and rear, uh, a Remus cat back uh, exhaust system, uh, custom wheels and a stage 3 uh, XHP gearbox software remap. So what we have gathered here is the majority of the parts for the next phase. This uh, car is going to go up a level or two or maybe three, um, time will tell. Uh, we've gathered some amazing parts together for this build uh, for Gareth and his um, soon to be extremely fast uh, 140. Uh, we've got parts from CSF Racing, Dorch Engineering, P3, Turbo Smart, ATI, Garrett, Walter Motorsport, Nostrum, and Blueprint, to name a few. Um, so, yeah, we're going to take you along on this build uh, so you can see uh, what goes into it and ultimately what uh, the project ends up like at the end. So, enjoy. So, Garrett's M140 stripped down. Should really have done a time lapse on this, shouldn't I? Everyone loves a time lapse, but uh, we're reasonably new to this YouTube thing, so probably should get better. Um, so, the charge cooler uh, radiator and the uh, engine rad, obviously, red pack out of the vehicle. Um, inlet manifold out, various other little bits and pieces on this side. Um, we are moving on to the injectors um, and everything else turbo side shortly obviously intake and everything out as well um, so yeah next up we will be probably working our way from the off side to the near side so we're probably going to look at turbo um, set up next uh, so we get all the OE stuff off we're just waiting on a few bits with BMW so we can blow everything up so gasket and nuts and bolts and what have you um, and then we can uh, start the tear down on that side and get the new Walton Motorsport and uh, Garage E35 set up um, in there. Uh, I'm also going to pull the exhaust obviously as well so we've got some room to move in there. Uh, so downpipe etc off, uh, a new downpipe that goes with this kit. Um, and yeah, like I say, start offering everything up and see where it's going to fit, start running the lines, mock it all up, um, see where we want it to be. So my task is uh, to get the super manifold built up. Um, so at the moment we are not doing any uh, methanol or nitrous uh, injection um, or the port injection. It's something we can come back to later because of the Nostrum uh, uprated uh, DI injectors we're going to be using. Um, this is a work of art, this thing. Look at this. So I've basically just been setting up all the fixings and plumbing. Um, these will be trimmed down to the correct length in a bit uh, once we offer it up to the car. Um, map sensors in, uh, like I say, all the bungs, fix-ins, etc. Um, and meanwhile, Will has been busy on the fuel system. While I've been on the manifold, Will's been busy in the engine bay. As you can see, the injectors are now out, the originals. The nostrums are about to be installed. He's also put the new Dorch DS25 pump in. Uh, we're going to put the rest of the lines in once the injectors are done and then we'll be moving on to just quickly mocking up the manifold on this side making sure we've got our water lines and our charge cooler lines for the CSF charged cooler uh, trimmed to the right the right length uh, for the factory pickups <laughs>
so the customer wanted to upgrade the brakes on this car um, uh, with future modifications in mind so only one real name when it comes to braking performance and that's AP uh, when you're getting serious uh, most track cars will run similar setups to this uh, however this being a road car this is a I think slightly overkill but ultimately where this car's going this is definitely the kind of brake setup we're going to be needing um, it's been put together by Mount Buck um, who uh, owns rent a rim who's uh, well known on the Facebook track stormers uh, pages and various other group pages uh, essentially XBTCC XBTCC I always get them uh, discs 368 mil or 36 mil discs uh, J hook as you can see uh, with his um, supplied uh, bells brackets and the mounting hardware we're just waiting on the lines to arrive um, and yeah we're utilizing the Pro 5000 R um, 6 watt calipers uh, with a um, BTCC uh, pad as well uh, these are um, sold as used but as you can see they're like nearly new um, and yeah this should certainly give uh, the customer more than enough stopping power especially uh, with the uh, the mods that are going onto it at the moment and like I say with a view down the line as well it should be more than enough to take care of the job so we've got a bit of a gap um, to fill um, there's been various things happening um, which is clear from one of our other videos so I won't go into that now but it's um, meant that I've been otherwise uh, distracted um, and I haven't been able to film everything that I wanted to on uh, Garris 140 build however I'm going to try and get you guys up to speed now I have my notes, I'm not embarrassed to say, I'm no YouTube expert, so I'm going to talk you through quick, quickly and try and get you up to date on what we've done, and then I'll give you some shots as well, just to uh, show you um, a visual, a visual aids, it's called a visual aids, right. So, um, the turbo and the manifold have been on and off numerous times to get everything clocked and the, um, and the wastegate and stuff as well. Um, we've also um, sorted out and run the lines, how we want and adapted the uh, oil and coolant lines for both um, for the turbo and the cooling lines for the, the wastegate as well. Um, Will's finished up with the Dorch um, fuel upgrade, so on one of the last clips you would have seen the DM25 pump installed, however now he's done all the lines as well as the injector, so fuel systems, buttons up, ready to go. I'm going to run the standard uh, low pressure pump for the moment, see how we get on, and obviously if we need to then, uh, or if uh, Gareth uh, wants us to, we can obviously drop in the new uh, you know replacement upgraded uh, low pressure pump as well um, before dyno time but certainly for the running in period we should be fine with that for the uh, for the first test mileage as you can see the rad packs back in um, you'll notice one of the uh, brace bars is missing that's because of the custom intake kit we make we're making which is going to the front force uh, front fed uh, front force fed, front fed uh, using a K and N uh, filter in the front and some four inch uh, piping um, the wheels underneath at the moment, just figuring out the positions for a few of the sensors. So the O2, the primary O2, and the um, uh, wideband sensor as well. Um, so that's just going together at the moment. Uh, the calipers are being painted dolphin grey, the old E30 colour. Um, I think I think um, Gareth asked for a little bit more uh, metallic uh, in it, so that's what we've requested. And then they have the uh, decals redone in black. Um, so yeah, as I said, with the uh, wide band uh, inside the car as well, uh, Will's been working on um, plumbing in the engine bay for the um, boost gauge and the AEM uh, wide band sensor as well, uh, which is going to be piggybacked into the um, GFB um, boost control kit because uh, it has a AFR monitor uh, built into it. So it's like a safeguard measure. More on that another time. Uh, we have had the bonnet carbon PPF wrapped by Identity Wraps. Um, show you that and now it's got a new uh, steering wheel customized uh, carbon steering wheel um, that's been installed into the vehicle uh, the new Yokohama AO52 tyres are on and we're just going to get the clear, clean the wheels up and re-ceramic coat those we've also uh, changed the oil obviously we've primed the, uh, the turbo etc and the lines um, but we've also changed the oil we've moved over to the motor now the 5 uh, um, the 5 40 uh, 300V, um, so that's in there. New BMW oil filter in, and um, obviously, we'll prime the engine in due course. Uh, and a new set of um, OEM spec plugs they've gone in. We've deleted the PCV, although we are waiting uh, for the prototype kit for the B58 made by RS Geico uh, or Geico, uh, which is Ryan. He's um, we've given him all the measurements, he's having that machined up at the moment. So, we're going to have the first prototype kit for the B58 because the S55. Um, PCV uh, is very slightly different sizes um, so they need to be 
customised, so he's working on that for us at the moment. That's due in about a week's time. And we've done a EVAP delete as well. So we've removed everything we can and bunged up everything we can. Uh, luckily, there are lots of uh, ports on the um, uh, CSF charge cooler, uh, which come with the bung, so you can have them open or you can have them closed. Uh, and then we've obviously got a few others in ourselves that are going to work for um, uh, rubber, rubber, um, rubber bungs uh, for blocking off the other bits and pieces. So I think that's everything for the moment. Um, and I will, like I say, I've, you will have seen some shots as I've been waffling on, so you don't have to look at my face constantly. Um, and yeah, I think we're, uh, yeah, we just keep moving forwards. So Will's currently working on the four inch custom inlet piping he's making up um, in, the, uh, in the welding room. Um, and looks like we're, we're getting close now. He's just doing a bit of trimming and, uh, and final kind of test fitting up to get uh, in the right position. Um, and then we can get that all plumbed in uh, and figure out the math sensor um, location as well. And I am now getting on the PCV delete kit from RS Geico. So we now have the front hose connector drilled, grub screwed into place. It's been machined internally so it fits nice and snug with a grub screw just for extra precaution. And the top plate is now in drilled and grub screwed as well. So next we will move on to the lines. Okay, so the PCV system's now installed. I'll drop a little video in over while I'm talking here to show you that. Um, Will has finished up the uh, four inch intake pipe work, fits chef's kiss. You see the filter at the front here. I'll chuck another video in to show the routing of that. Uh, the cooling system, charge cooler system and engine coolant's all filled uh, up. Uh, the base map has been received and we have uploaded that. Uh, we also had another delivery, the spool low pressure uh, twin in tank low pressure fuel pump uh, kit turned up. Um, the way that one works is that essentially it's got a boost operated um, solenoid. So I think it's 16 psi. When it hits 16 psi it will turn the secondary pump on. Uh, we haven't plumbed that yet because we just want to get the car up and running and in effect we don't really need it with what the setup we've got at the moment. However it will be good for uh, taking this car uh, up in terms of power, uh, making sure it's got the only um, weak point in the fuel system, basically. Uh, so we've tied up some wiring. Um, we have just primed the engine with all the fuel system uh, fuses uh, disconnected just to make sure we've got oil pressure. Oil pressure is good. So let's try and start it. Okay, so here we have the Spool Performance Stage 3 Low Pressure Fuel Pump. Um, this bad boy here will see us good, well, it's currently working with uh, 1,000 wheel horsepower applications in the States. Um, essentially, it's a drop-in unit, so you've got a complete bucket, if you will, um, and it has a twin pump setup uh, where the OE one has just a single pump setup. And this one has a boost reference that picks up from the front of the vehicle, wiring harness here, and at 16 psi, essentially it will send a signal to the relay here, which turns the relay on, which then turns the second pump on. So just to make sure it's got enough fuel uh, getting up to the high pressure pump. Um, so yeah, Will's jumping on this one now, and he's going to get this installed, and then we will start it again, run some quick tests if everything's good. On to the next thing. Perfect. 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 So Gareth now have the larger water meth tank installed um, and also the CS style uh, carbon wrapped bonnet. And we have also, as you've probably seen just before this clip, uh, he did opt for the stage three low pressure fuel pump upgrade while it was in. Um, because then the fuel system is taken care of um, for future mods that we plan. Um, we've done some test mileage, myself and Will. We've been out, set the boost controller up uh, for the base map um, and the duty cycle, and we're running around 26 psi at the moment. Um, 
and that is where it's going to stay just for a few test miles and we are now off to the BHP show with it. Perfect. 